Good evening, this is Kara with the Ministry of Uncovering No More. I want to speak out against sibling rivalry, competition in schools, public and private, and religious dogma. I want to speak out against continued critical behavior everywhere. When you choose to keep hurting people for your own self-interest, what do you call that? I'm speaking to millennials and Gen Z. What do you call that when you continue to be critical, particularly about people that are older in your life, and you've never even slowed down to find out what they have actually gone through. Your passive aggression is a prison to the older people in your life. And tomorrow is July 4th. And I'm gonna tell you that you are no more free. In your prison, then our ancestors were free from things like racism, sexism, and supremacy. And you have a free will choice to make, to come clean. I want you to think about that, July 4th, 2021. Here is what I am doing. Again, I have featured my coloring and told the story of how things were spinning out in my Uncle Ken's life. He is the one that died 10 days before my brother in Garland, Texas. We were Pentecostals. I was 14. There is hardly anyone in my life who cares about the tragedies that my parents and I lived through. Nonetheless, my mother showed me a passion that I have of colors. My dad was a draftsman before he moved to Austin to be in the IT world, in the chip industry with Motorola. And my Uncle Ken had a wife who was from hell before the third wife that he married in the Pentecostal church, good people, both of them. I am second to the youngest baby cousin. My Uncle Ken's son is the youngest and he is the junior as far as I know. Uncle Ken passed away of Lou Gehrig's disease about when he was about two, which was a damn sight better than my daddy who was in the womb when his daddy died. Again, nobody cares. But what my mother and I did when we were scared because the woman showed up my Uncle Ken was starving himself and sleeping in a, the barber's shop because she was committing adultery and lascivious and ugly with him constantly. And he wouldn't divorce her. So the barber boss, the guy who owned the shop, called my dad brother and said he's spending nights in the shop and you need to come get him and so we took him in and dad and mom served him and helped him and that woman showed up and my mother had to take me to the back room while dad and uncle Ken handled her because she was volatile and um, 
we colored. And when I was in a really difficult time of betrayal because my mother's family is extremely toxic, I began to color again. But mine is adult coloring. And I do it for a purpose, not just to twitter the, my life away. Uh, that's Twittering my life away is about as unreasonable as the schisms going on in this family concerning the property that my father and his other brother built. It is senseless waste of time. I have nobody willing to back down in my life. Let me state to everyone, shut up. The King of Kings is very well aware of my situation and he is dealing with it his way. And I submit to him every bit as much as I have submitted one to another with everybody to no avail. Now, I'm going to cut this down to kindness. Happy July 4th, 2021. May you have a moment of truth for the entire next year. May I be able to have a video July 3rd, 2022, where I can say, I'm coloring still and we are making headway as a nation, house to house, neighborhood to neighborhood, grocery store to grocery store, Walmart to Walmart, Costco to Costco, Sam's to Sam's, department store to department store, McDonald's to McDonald's. We are having a better year. May I be able to say that next year? It would be nice. Now I'm going to be quiet. Joyful July 4th, blessed be. This is Kara from the Ministry of Uncovered No More.